Today I'll be walking you through a new feature in Google Analytics called In-Page Analytics. Suppose you're on a website like the Google Store. You have probably have pages like this one, and you want to understand how your website's visitors are using it. Which products are they clicking on? Which options are they using? How are they navigating around the page? You might turn to the content reports in Google Analytics, but reports like this one sometimes leave something to be desired. When looking at a report, you lose the visual context that your website gives you. So what if you could take your Google Analytics data and look at it in the context of your web page? Now there's a new feature in Google Analytics called In-Page Analytics designed to help solve this problem. You can access In-Page Analytics from the content reports in Google Analytics. You'll see it here on the left hand side, but you can also find it here on the right. Here's a view of the standard In-Page Analytics report. Let's take a look through the UI. The first thing you'll probably notice are all of these bubbles. The bubbles represent the percentage of clicks on this page that went to that link. Here, we can see that the snazzy Android American Apparel Polo garners 4% of the clicks on this page. Also, notice that the bubble has a dotted outline. This means that this page has more than one link to the same page. In this case, the product's picture and the product name both link to the same page. If I hover over the bubble, I get a detailed view. Also notice that the other 4% bubble below is highlighted. This is because both of these links lead to the same page. At this time, in-page links cannot distinguish between these two links, but it's something we hope to have in the future. With all this data on the page, it can be a bit noisy, especially if there are lots of links with only a few clicks. You can quickly filter out links that only have a small percentage of clicks using the drop-down in the top right of in-page analytics. Here I'm selecting to only show clicks that represent more than 0.5% of the links on the page. With this filter applied, it's easier to see the more significant links on the page and not get bogged down in links with a very small amount of clicks. Advanced segments are one of the most powerful features in Google Analytics, as they allow you to slice and dice your traffic any way you'd like. You can use your advanced segments within InPage Analytics to understand how a segment of traffic interacts with a page. You apply advanced segments to InPage Analytics as you would in any report, from the drop down at the top. Here we are comparing all visits with visits only from referral traffic. Once I've applied an advanced segment, I can switch between segments using this drop down up here. On the left hand side of the report, I can see some high-level data about the page, including things like number of visits, unique views, and time on page. If you have an advanced segment selected, you can also see data for all the segments you've selected. Another nice piece of this report is that it shows some top demographic like language and country and top technical attributes like operating system and screen resolution. If you want to focus on any one of these demographic or technical attributes, you can just click on one and the report will be filtered for just that aspect. This brings us to another feature of InPage, filters. You can filter on much more than just the top demographics. In this case, I'm interested in seeing the click behavior from traffic that came in on any keyword containing t-shirts. From this drop-down, I select keyword, then I start typing the keyword I'm interested in. Analytics will automatically suggest keywords that I receive traffic from, so I can choose to autocomplete if I want. In this case, I want to look at all traffic that came to my site and this page using a keyword that contains t-shirt. That is, someone who went to Google or another search engine, searched for t-shirt, Chrome t-shirt, Android t-shirt, whatever, and got to my site. Now that my data is filtered, I want to see if there are any major changes. It looks like the click-through rate is higher for the Polo than before, 4.8% instead of 4%. I need to remember, though, that it has the best placement on the page by being the first product. The first t-shirt on the page actually saw a doubling in click-through rate, though, and so did the second t-shirt. This might be obvious. People searching for t-shirts are more likely to click on t-shirt products, but seeing it quantified in the context of the page makes this very clear to me. I might use this data to justify the creation of a special t-shirts only landing page for my t-shirt keywords. Another way to view your in-page data is the full view option. This lets you see your data as you browse your site. While viewing your in-page analytics reports in Google Analytics, open up another tab and then navigate to your website. Your website will load and then your in-page data will also load on top and you'll have the full overlay. 
This gives you access to your data while also providing a complete browsing experience. This helps you better understand the data that you're seeing. That's it for our overview. InPage Analytics is currently in beta. There's a lot more that we'd like to do with InPage, and this is just the start. I'd like to thank you for watching, and happy analyzing.